So, line traces aren't good enough for you. You want to trace with a bit more area. Not a problem. Let's say you have an active variable for a target and you want to set it to the closest pawn to the player within a range of 300. Assuming you want to do this whenever the player hits the E key, the blueprint trigger for a sphere looks like this. And all this says is the sphere trace will be created at the same position as the actor. And we are specifically looking for pawns. And if we already have something selected, we don't want to look for the same target twice, so we can plug our currently selected target into the ignore area. And we want to be able to see the sphere trace for a duration of 5 seconds. And then we branch out, and if anything was detected when we pressed E, we drag out the hit and break the hit result and set it to our variable. If nothing was detected, then we set our target to null instead. Get done. From this point on, if you press E, you will trigger a sphere detection. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.